Welcome back to the Excel HQ function series. The functions we are going over today are concat, left, mid, and right. What concat basically does is it combines a series of strings, whether they are text or numbers or any other kinds of digits. You will want to type in equals concat, open up that bracket, and then there's two ways you can go about it. You can highlight each cell individually and separate them by a comma, like so. And you will get a combined version of each individual cell. And the other way you can go about it is type in equals concat, open bracket, and just highlight a series of cells. And it will work perfectly. And you may be thinking, welcome to Excel headquarters. Where's the spaces? Well, there's a fix for that too. You can type in equals concat. I like the text you want, and then using the and symbol and an open quotation mark, anything you type in these quotation marks will come up after the end of each individual cell. So it come out after welcome to Excel and so on. So if I wanted to add a space, all I would do is put a space bar in between the quotation marks, close it off with a bracket, and then it spaces out evenly. And now, these TR numbers down here, these tracking numbers, say you don't want them spaced out, say you want a comma or anything else. Another example, is you do the exact same thing you just did, but you can add literally anything you want in between each cell by adding a quotation mark, put a comma, space, quotation mark, close that off, and it gives you a perfect list separated perfectly by commas. Now for the left function. What the left function does is it starts at the left side of your cell and then you can specify how many characters you want to take and it will take that out. So for example, if you type in equals left, open bracket, and then if I pick headquarters, it will start at the left, so at the H, and then I pick the number of letters that I want. I want four. So then it will provide me with the head. And then the same thing, for a different one, equals left. I highlight headquarters and I just want the very first letter, stage. And now mid, the only difference is you get to pick your starting point. So if I pick headquarters and then I insert a comma and then I use the number five, it will start at the fifth most letter in the cell. So the fifth letter is quarters. And then after the five, I specify how many characters I wanted to take after. If I choose seven, it will take the whole word, quarters. Now for the right function, it is exactly the same thing as the left function, but on the right side. So if I go right, highlight quarters, and then specify that I want seven characters, starting at the S, it will go all the way to the Q, left, and then you will get quarters. Now the left, mid, and right functions are really good for product IDs or tracking numbers or anything that has a serial number and the very beginning of it is all the same. And it's only the last few numbers that differentiate the code from any other ones. So for example, the perfect ones for this TR would be equals right, put in that comma, highlight the number, and then the number of characters on the right side that differentiate it. How many are there? There are three. Everything else is the same. So if I take out those three, I will get the six, seven, eight. I drag that down and I get the last three for every single one of them. Perfect. If you guys found this video helpful, please check out some of my others. And if there's any topics you want me to cover in the future, please leave a comment down below.